Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, earlier this year, Angie and I gave our review of Balance Blonde's horrible book, Breaking Vegan, in which she described all these horrible things that happened to her, orthorexia and so on, from being vegan. And we showed it had nothing to do with it. It was just an anti-vegan book trying to get sales. Well, anyway, there's a new anti-vegan book out there. This time, it's by science writer Mara Khan, and its title is Vegan Betrayal. There are simply too many... Uh, unknowns and too many unstudied people, too little research to make any kind of definitive conclusion that veganism is healthy and uh, prevents disease. Well, you're supposed to be a science writer, but you seem to ignore conveniently all the mountains of science in support of a vegan diet. You make it sound like this is some weird thing like landing on the moon or Mars. There's really not much known about it. Yet there's tons of science about it. For instance, the very stodgy and boring American Dietetic Association has no problem with vegan diets. And what's this nonsense about there not being enough science to make definitive conclusions about the healthfulness of vegan diets? Well, even the Huffington Post knows about research, recent research being put out there by the University of Loma Linda that concludes that vegans have far lower risks of cancer than vegetarians and meat eaters. And she writes in her book that vegans are very susceptible to deficiencies in all sorts of vitamins and minerals. Take a look, I'll list them down below. And as you see, these are the very ones that pretty much every anti-vegan blogger and author that I've had to debunk throws out there. It's just like the hit parade, they just automatically repeat. And I'm not gonna bother debunking all of them again because you've probably seen those videos, but I will offer you a new twist on these. Let's look at say like vitamins A and D, and let's look at calcium and iron, which were supposedly deficient in. Well, it turns out your normal meat-eating Americans are susceptible to being deficient in them too, which means it's not a vegan problem. It means all people, vegans and meat eaters, should be concerned about these nutrients. And speaking of iron deficiency, she's being completely insincere here. The science has shown that vegans and vegetarians are no more at risk of being deficient in iron, of having anemia, than meat eaters are. And this is probably because there's so much iron found in plants. Compare how much iron is found in spinach to that of a hamburger. Also in her book, she makes this crazy claim here how vegans are eating too many carbs while ignoring their protein needs. Well, that's complete nonsense. I mean, what kind of food is she eating? That's what I wonder about when people fail in their vegan diets. What were they actually eating? Because if you're eating whole food plants, whole foods have all three of your macronutrients, carbs, fats, and proteins. If you're getting enough calories, you're getting enough of your macronutrients. Like most vegans, yeah, say you eat about maybe 70% of your calories from carbs and enough another 15 odd percent from fat, which is fine, and another 15 percent from protein. Totally fine. What in the world is she talking about? I returned to being an omnivore, I, it was with fish. I, I started eating plentiful fish and my health skyrocketed almost. So I had to grab Angie for this because she was like a vegetarian for like decades before she met me. And I slowly, this is before we went vegan, I slowly kind of made her have fish with me sometimes. So. Oh. Yeah, I, I remember know. we went to Mexico, uh, and there wasn't like a lot of options there at that time. This is forever ago. Yeah. And I, I did do some fish tacos with you, and I remember in San Francisco, I had some fish tacos. So were your experiences anything like this author's, like your health skyrocketed? No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> but I'll tell you, it did skyrocket. My guilt! It was horrible! I... I I don't even like to talk about the dark days of going back to eating But fish. you didn't feel better like this person. She went from like feeling all no. to all, yeah, no? No, when I loosened up my standards of eating, I actually gained weight and lost health and started having really serious health issues with my digestion and my acidity levels. And um, definitely my health plummeted. All right, thanks. Too low protein will cause muscle wasting. What happens then is without enough protein in your diet, and there are risks for too low protein, you actually start um, consuming your, your own uh, 
muscles. When I hear crap like that, I want to know what is this person doing that requires so much extreme protein? I mean, I personally know 300 pound NFL linemen who are vegan, David Carter. There's Patrick Baboumian, vegan strongman. There's ultra runners like Scott Jurek who'll like run for a day or two nonstop. How come their protein meats are being met by a vegan diet, yet this lady's is not? Bull crap. And this little nugget from her book is quite possibly her best one yet. She says, being vegan is something only a few rare people can do. Those who have low protein needs naturally, those who have like a low stress lifestyle, and those who have the vigilance to constantly be counting on a daily basis. They're amino acid protein completeness. I mean, this is just 1980s nonsense here. That there has been completely debunked. If you're getting sufficient calories, meaning eating plenty of food and a diverse bunch of food too, you're gonna get everything you need. All the protein you need is in plant foods. It's, vegan diet is not just a rarity for people that are low in protein needs, as I've shown here with all the extreme athletes that do it. This lady is completely lost in fear-mongering to people. But, but you need that those tiny bits of animal uh, right. in your diet to get the missing nutrients in plant. No, let me just stop you right there, Miss Science Rider Lady. In fact, where is your science? Do you even science, bro? Enough of her. Sorry I have to bring these videos to your attention, but they just seem to be ramping up more lately. What do you guys think? Post your questions and comments down below. What in the hell is going on? Why are so many people coming out lately speaking out against veganism? Is it because of its growing popularity? Let me know. And if you saw this book before, it's been out for a few months, let me know if you, you've read it and had any have any thoughts about it. Hit like if you got some out of this video and share it with a friend who may have read it. And I'm um, subscribed for more content from me and Angie here at Happy Healthy Vegan. And until next time, guys, this lady needs to do Lay out those damn animal products. Keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved. Because I needed to know personally, why do I need to eat animal food when I don't want to? And so it was a journey for me, and it became very, very clear all the missing what are called carny nutrients.